So just take us through Trevor's head, uh, Jamie, his availability, what's going with him? Yeah, he's, he's had a long tour, obviously, in England and played a, a fairly big part in the Ashes as well as a few Australian A games before that. So he's missing the first two, having yep. a rest um, and preparing for the two games back here at Karen Rolton after that. A bit unlucky over in the Ashes, you thought, or how did you see that one? Uh, it was a, a, probably a 50-50 call from yep. him, but, uh, yeah, I think he'd done enough to survive and get the last two and see how he went and then make a decision on him. I think, um, or I'm hoping, that he comes back in this summer and plays well and he's straight back in. He's averaging 50 this year, um, third most runs. That's a pretty impressive record for the court. Yeah, and, and went in under trying circumstances right. every time, trying to resurrect yeah. something that wasn't done up in front of him. So a little bit unlucky. What about Alex Carey? He's another yeah. one that's had such a good 12 months. Do you, do you expect he'll be playing Test cricket this summer? Uh, I would hope so. I hate to shoot Paney down, but um, if you're looking for the future, which they probably should after the Ashes, and um, Alex is the obvious choice. He's not stopped making runs since the World Cup started, so he's in great form. He's a great player to have around and a very good keeper now. Has he, oh, sorry, I was going to say, he's taking yeah. his game to the next level. He, could he play just almost as a bat, Jamie, or he has to play as a glove, do you think? Uh, I think there's a lot of good batsmen around, let's be honest, and, and the amount of, you know, the hundreds and that that he's um, put together in Shilker, I think he's only got two or three now, so probably needs a, a bigger bigger score or a bit, a bit more consistency in that department to be a batsman, but he could certainly do that in the one-day side. Do you think he's ready? He's absolutely ready, yeah. yeah. Uh, mate, what about the SA boys? We're about to get in. What are the expectations this year? Look, we've got a, we've got a fantastic one day side. We have had since I've been here. I think we've uh, been a little unlucky or not quite good enough to get over the line a couple of times. And last year we should have won a game that we didn't and made the final. So we're looking. We haven't got much of a change to our frontline team. So we, you know, we need to make the top two to make the final this year, and we're pretty confident that we can do it. In shorter format, how's uh, Lloyd Pope developed? He's a very good one-day player. He's got some good tricks. He spins the ball both ways. Um, the length that he bowls is perfect for one-day cricket. So, you know, he might get his chance. He's got Australia's number one leg spinner ahead of him at the moment, so it's going to be tough for him to jump in straight away. But if we play two spinners, he's a good chance. It's a huge luxury to have two quality spinners like Lloyd and, and Adam. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they're both very different. Um, Pope probably spins it a bit more both ways, but... Um, Zorba is very consistent the way he goes about it. He's, he's very wise leg spinner. He's probably just learning the train. Could you play two spinners, or is it going to be? Is that decision very conditions dependent? It's conditions dependent. I mean, the Karen Rolton wicket we played on just um, on Saturday would probably suit two spinners. You could probably get away with it and do it really well through the middle overs, especially. He's a wicket taker, so that's what you need in in our one day side, especially in the middle overs to break the game open. How's Frankie tracking with that bat? I think he's starting to bowl uh, next week or early or later on this week, so it, it's good signs. Um, I'm just hoping there's no pain when he does that. It's uh, been a long haul for him. Yeah. He's just dug himself out of a bit of a hole lately, so yeah. now that he's ready to bowl, he's a little bit happy around the place, and you know he's in super fit condition. But bowling-wise, it'll take a little bit of time. Yeah. And the squad pretty fit, Jamie. I know Shorty works from hard. Um, it's only September, but. Yeah. Okay. yeah, if Shwedi hasn't gotten fit by now, he's never going to have them fit. So he'll tell you they're the fittest they've ever been. Um, they're going well. They're going well. Everyone we've picked are up and about. We've had a really good pre-season here with the weather and the, the ground stuff have been amazing. Probably more turf cricket practice than we've had in the past. So we're ready to go. We're off to Brisbane this week to have a couple more practice games and then get into it.